Did you ever wake up on a Christmas day like this one only to find an RTX 3080 Ti under your Christmas tree? I mean, how awesome would that be? But this comes as a confirmation from ASUS that the RTX 3080 Ti and the RTX 3060, both of these graphics cards exist and they're going to be released sometime next year. And I would expect that to be like February or March. And I already have a video talking about these graphics cards and the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti. Links to that are going to be in the info cards above or in the video description down below. So this also comes as an invitation for you to get subscribed to this channel if you'd like to keep yourself up to date with the latest news in tech and gaming including leaks like this one but of course you guys are here to learn more about the RTX 3080 Ti and presumably the RTX 3060. Now we're going to be starting with it we'll be starting with the RTX 3080 Ti and this one is going to slot right into or right between the RTX 3080 and 3090. It's going to have 20 gigs of VRAM and it's going to be of course a double of what the RTX 3080 has and only 4 gigabytes less than the RTX 3090 which is going to be more than enough for any of those games that you're playing at the moment. I'm talking about, of course, AAA titles, maybe Cyberpunk 2077, which by the way, if you are to set the graphical fidelity to Psycho, not Ultra, because there is an option to tweak that, and play it at 4K, you might only need about 17 to 18 gigabytes of VRAM. So I would assume that in the future, this is going to be plenty for, you know, for the upcoming three or four years and titles that are going to come out, especially if you want to play at 4K. Of course, you're going to tune it down to, you know, 1440p or 1080p, although I don't know why you would buy a 1080p and pair it with an RTX 3080 Ti, but you know, you do you in this point. Um, it's going to be more than enough. Now, in terms of other specifications, um, um, it's pretty similar to the RTX 3090, as a matter of fact, and we have also seen that in terms of um, boost clocks, we've seen that going for about 1.63 gigahertz, and this is of course only for the FE version. You might see that the cards that ASUS is going to release, like the Tough or the Strix, they're going to have higher boost clocks, and of course they're going to have um, over the OC version, so overclockable cards, and you can go as high as to 2.1, and I hope this is not going to be only wishful thinking but of course this really depends on the cards that you're going to be buying of course MSI and all the other brands like Gigabyte are also going to have their own variants of cards now the thing with this one is that I expected that the FE version, so the 3080 Founders Edition, is going to be about 999 euros or dollars depending on the region that you're in and this one is going to be really impressive at that price point, given that the 3090 is $1,500 or euros, and it's uh, really hard to uh, find at this point. Even with the RX 6900 XT, I would think that most people would want to go with Nvidia in this case, because if this card is going to be priced at 999 US dollars or euros, it's going to be a really tough sell for both, like I was saying, the 3090 and the RX 6900 XT, especially given that the RX 6900 XT is really difficult to find in stock because AMD is working with TSMC and I have a video explaining that and of course talking more about TSMC, you can find it in the info cards or the video description, but it's also uh, given that, you know, here in Germany, where I live, the RX 6900 XT is also not selling for MSRP at all, not even like by a long shot. It's usually 1200, 1300 euros that you can find it at, and that's really expensive. Of course, AMD has also um, came out, has also come out with a message telling uh, telling us that um, all of the cards that they're selling are not going to be selling for MSRP for a little while still, and MSI has also just uh, said that they're going to be focusing on the Gaming X Trio, which kind of leads me to believe that all of these cards are not going to be selling for MSRP anytime soon and that AMD has a lot of issues trying to produce all of those chips, you know, and get them from TSMC and then get them shipped to all of their AAB partners. But this might be a different scenario for the RTX 3080 Ti and the um, other RTX 30 series of graphics cards because, AM, because Nvidia has just signed a new um, partnership with Samsung to produce their Super Ti and the 4000 series of graphics cards and I have a video talking about that as well. And of course, you can find it in the video description. 
Now, with regards to other things related to this graphic card, I can't tell you that much because it's going to be actually really similar to the RTX 3090. So I'll just put a picture where you can see this one is a courtesy of videocards.com where you can see all of the specs of this card. And the question stands, um, should you be buying this card? And if you have it in, on your mind right now, um, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I would expect that this card is also going to sell like hotcakes pretty much like like other cards um, have <laughs> gone out, you know, sold out in mere minutes, mere seconds, depending on which one you're looking at. So it's going to be really hard to get your hands on one of those, but I guess you could try. Now, talking about the RTX 3060, this one is going to be quite confusing given that it has 12 gigs of. Um, VRAM and of course this is only going to be GDDR6 but if you think about it the RTX 3060 Ti and the RTX 3070 in my system they only have 8 gigs of VRAM which is a little bit surprising why Nvidia would be doing such a thing but if you would like to know there is also an RTX 3060 presumably that is going to have 6 gigs of VRAM but of course um, you would go with the one that has 12 but it still bothers me why Nvidia would do such a thing especially given that this one is going to perform um, similar to the RTX 2080 from last generation this is of course going of how the based on how the RTX 3070 performed this was better or like similar to the RTX 2080 Ti and the uh, RTX 3060 Ti performed performs very similar to the RTX 2080 Super. Now, of course, take all of this information with a grain of salt, but I would genuinely expect that the RTX 3060 would perform very similar to the RTX 2080 from last gen. And this kind of makes it really difficult to recommend to all of you guys the RTX 20 series of graphics cards, especially if you are to buy them at um, MSRP from retailers. You know, if you can find a good deal on eBay and you're fine with that on the 20 series of cards, you know, for lower prices than the actual RTX 30 series graphics cards, then yeah, you might want to consider buying one of these older generation of cards. Now looking at some other specifications for uh, this card, again, I can't tell you um, very much about it because the information is uh, still being updated at the moment with regards to these cards, but I believe that most of you um, who are looking for an RTX 3060 right now are most probably going to pair it with a 1080p monitor and you're going to want to still keep it for, you know, three, four, five years. And I would say that the 12 gig variant is definitely going to be better in that sense. I mean, remember the 10 series of graphics cards that that's like the 1060 had a three gig and a six gig version. How's the three gig very version going for you if you have one of those? Um, I would assume that not all that great, especially if you're playing only AAA titles. If you're playing mostly esports titles, then that's fine. And don't even bother buying an RTX 3060 if you only play uh, CSGO, Fortnite, or, you know, some other e more esportsy titles. Now, of course, I believe that most of you are going to leave a comment um, asking me like, hey, should I wait? Should I buy? Am I going to get my hands on one of those cards? It's really difficult to say at the moment, especially since we have bots, scalpers, uh, GDDR6 shortages and some other issues. And of course, the ongoing human malware pandemic. So it's really difficult to tell you guys on a concrete answer on whether you should buy this card or wait, but I would say that if you don't want to build a PC right now, or if you're just looking to upgrade, then wait until February or March, whenever these cards are going to um, get released and try your luck. I guess maybe the whole situation is going to improve because this is what we've heard from both the manufacturers um, and Nvidia. So I guess I hope that this is not going to be only wishful thinking. So best of luck with that. Otherwise, you might also be interested in looking at the RTX 3 well, the RTX 30 series of graphics cards, but on laptops. And I have a playlist dedicated to that where I'm discussing more about the entire RTX 3000 lineup, the Ryzen 5000 mobile CPUs, the RX 6000M, graphics cards and of course Intel's 10 nanometer finally Tiger Lake CPUs and you can find links to that in the video description. I will assume that if you don't want the to be on the bleeding edge of technology you could also go with one of those laptops um, assuming that the prices are going to be right but of course you can find more about them in the 
many videos that I've done. I think I have over 10 at the moment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was a little bit shorter one, but I don't have a lot of information or a ton of information to go off of. And I already have all of those videos that I've mentioned throughout this video that you can go and watch to get a better idea. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and um, I will hopefully see you in the next one. Happy holidays.